Uh, my name is Jimmy Bellinger, and I, uh, I'm the pitching coach here. I grew up in uh, right outside New York City on Long Island, and uh, I was fortunate. I played two years of junior college baseball in, the, in Maryland at a small school called Cecil College, and then I finished my career at the University of Louisville. So I was at the University of Louisville, from, played there for 07 and 08. Got a chance to play in the College World Series in 2007, which was awesome. And I came in in 2007 with Coach McDonald, who's still there. It was his first year, it was his first class he brought in. Uh, but then I was really fortunate. I was a decent college pitcher, but I wasn't all that good. Uh, so I got the opportunity to coach right after I got done playing. So I got started there as a student assistant coach, finishing my degree, coached there in 2009, and then and I was fortunate to get uh, the pitching coach job at Monmouth University, which is a Division I school in Jersey. Uh, and I spent three years there and we had a lot of success and then had the opportunity to go to the University of Maryland and um, work with Coach Chef, who's now at Virginia Tech. And we did a lot of great things there. Went to two Super Regionals and had a lot of success. Um, and then made a couple of stops along the way. I've been at the University of Kentucky and then previously before here, I was at Florida State. So. We've been to some spot stops and seen some, you know, different ways to do it and different ways to not do it maybe and just to see what works. So it's been a good journey so far. There's been times where baseball has gotten ahead of others and when I'm like that, I'm out of whack. So I always make sure that's my faith, my family, and then baseball. So when I'm outside of baseball, it's 99% of the time just spending time with my wife and kids. So I met Coach Backage when I was a player, when I was going up through like the Hey AU, I had a bunch of guys that I played with that were going to Vanderbilt. So Coach Backage was always around because he was an assistant coach at Vanderbilt. But he and I got to know each other when, when he was a head coach at Maryland, I was at Monmouth. It's kind of funny, I, when, I wasn't, wasn't old enough to rent a car when I would go recruiting. And uh, I would be like, okay, I'll just figure out a way to get to games I gotta get to. So. I'd go watch a game and I would talk to other coaches and I talked to Coach Backage while I was there and I said, hey coach, where are you going next? And he had to go to the game I was going to. So I asked him for a ride and I jumped in the car with him, drove to the next game and I ended up spending the day with him, you know, bouncing around from game to game. So that's kind of where we got a chance to know each other and then playing against each other when he was at Michigan and I was at Maryland, just, you know, you see each other on the road all the time. So that's kind of where it started. You know, I think what you, all good pitching coaches do is you structure the, their, your philosophy around what the player does well. Um, but for us, the big thing before we talk about any of the nuts and bolts of pitching, it comes down to it's kind of the mentality of the way we go about things. So we talk about being in control of ourselves, being able to compete, and then showing toughness. So before we do anything, uh, those are the three things that we cover. We make sure that our guys are able to do those things um, and then once we get past there, then we, we basically use every tool at our disposal um, to develop our guys. So we'll use technology, we'll use data, we'll use video, uh, just to create a plan for each one of our guys. That's what we talk about in here all the time, just get 1% better. Just every day, just show up with a positive attitude and be learning to learn and grow. I hope that that I can add value in you know, kind of the way that we carry ourselves on the mound. You know, I hope when people come to watch our pitchers that, you know, that they think, man, those guys, they work fast, they compete really hard, they're tough, and they get better. You know, so for me as a coach, that's, you know, are they getting better as people? Are they getting better as students? And they're getting better as baseball players. You know, if those, if you're checking the box every year in all three of those, and I think then I'm adding value. Like when I thought of Clemson, I thought of the white pants, the white cleats, the atmospheres, the way they played, um, and then just trips to Omaha. So when I think of the, the story tradition, those are the things I think of. When you start putting a list together of the baseball programs that have the most tradition of all time, you know, Clemson's right in the mix of one of the best. So just playing here as an opponent, you know, when I was at Maryland and at Florida State, just being around the town and the community, it was hard not to come here.